Thanks, guys. Happy to be joined now by the Browns head coach, Kevin Stefanski. Coach, real quick, let's tie a ribbon on New England. Not the way you wanted it to go, really, on either side of the football. What did you take away from that good and, and what to improve on as you get ready for the Ravens? Yeah, you, you have to take care of all those little things, uh, as we know. And in that game, I go to that first quarter where it's 3-3. Three to three, We get a big takeaway from our defense and we stall on offense. And versus a good opponent, you got to capitalize on turnovers. And we didn't do that. And there were just moments in that game, 17-6, to six, we turned the ball over. Uh, you know, and then late in the game as we're trying to get back into it. So there, there were moments where we just didn't capitalize on some opportunities. And when you don't versus a good team, they're going to put you away. You got another good team in the division this week in Baltimore against the Ravens, former league MVP. Nobody accounts for more of their team's offense than Lamar Jackson, over 80%. What are you seeing from him here as he's evolved in 2022 and, and what the Ravens are doing? They're, they're doing a really nice job. As you know, that scheme's unique. Not a lot of people in the NFL are running such a unique scheme with, with that player. And he's so explosive. He can beat you from the pocket he, in the run game, in the pass game. He can scramble and you have to cover forever because he can scramble and buy time. He can run himself. So it really is a unique challenge. And for our defense, it presents a game plan that maybe is different than most. You, you go into this game and you really have a unique game plan to defend a unique challenge. Last year, four interceptions in that game in Baltimore from Lamar. It feels like in some ways we're constructed at the second and third levels to deal with a guy like Lamar Jackson. And I think we saw a little bit of that in Baltimore. We got to see it again on Sunday. Yeah, again, easier said than done. Sure. <laughs> but you do need speed to match his speed. You do need length to cover 53 and a third of the field that they really do a nice job in their schemes to make you cover all the whole width of the field because they have speed and they have schemes that can get to all areas of that field. And the guy, when he's thrown it, typically it's going to Mark Andrews, two-time Pro Bowler. He's unbelievable. And it feels like every team goes into it saying, oh, we'll just stop Mark Andrews. The receivers are, you know, haven't been, they're not as established as he is. And yet he produces every single week. How? Yeah, really good player. I'd just tell you it's a combination of his size and athleticism is, is pretty unique. He's got really good size. He can get in and out of breaks for such a big man. He's strong. Uh, versus zones, he has a knack for how, how to find that opening in the zone. Obviously, the quarterback has a ton of trust in him sure. and how he throws it to him. He doesn't mind if he's covered. And then in man, it's he gets some safeties, he gets some corners, he gets nickel backs, he gets double teamed. Uh, he has finds a way to shake open. So for us, obviously, uh, we're trying to take uh, him out of the game. But to say that, you know, really you're trying to slow him down. Uh, you want him to have uh, his stat line to be however many catches, but not for those big explosive ones. You mentioned it's a unique offense. How do you prepare for it? How do you have somebody simulate Lamar Jackson, simulate the options, simulate Patrick Ricard running around? How do you actually get ready to deal with that team? You try. I mean, you have our quarterbacks. Josh Dobbs does some of that work for us. We put other guys in there just to simulate his speed. Uh, and then really, our coaches really spend a lot of time with the scout team explaining exactly what they want from those given looks. And I think that's such an important piece of our week is the scout team look. And we spend a lot of time with those players in the meeting room, in walkthroughs, explaining exactly how the Baltimore Ravens do it so that when we get to Sunday, the guys are comfortable defending a scheme that they feel like they saw all week. All right, slip to the defense side, new defensive coordinator, but still the same Ravens in many ways. They're not afraid to come after you. They're not afraid to go zero blitz and just bring the house They'll also play some shell. They'll play some man one. They'll do it all, right? What have you seen from this defense? Because there's a lot of names that are going to be familiar to Browns fans who have been very established in this league for a long time. Yeah, I think you're going to see it. It's, it's a very similar to what they've done. First time coordinator, but Mike McDonald's been there in, in Baltimore for a long time before he left for one year. So a lot of similarities. Now, there are subtle differences. They're, they are doing a little bit more of this and a little bit less of that type things. But at the end of the day, in some uh, third downs, red zone, it does look like the Baltimore Ravens defense that we've faced over the years. One thing to keep in mind, it's been weird. They've only trailed for, I think, 12 minutes in six games, and yet they're three and three. So this is one of those weeks where you're always in this game, it feels like, against a team like Baltimore. It's a division opponent. Uh, it's a division game. They know us well. We know them well. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a matter of understanding what we need to do, being sound in what we're doing, uh, and then playing a 60-minute football game. Coach, best of luck today against the Ravens. Thanks, Nathan. All right, guys, back to you.